So for this tournament vlog, I'm just going to kind of roll my tournament play, highlight my thoughts and how I was feeling in the moment, what I was thinking, and yeah, let's roll. So we're bowling on a scorpion pattern today. I'm throwing a proton physics, and I'm not the best yet at understanding which balls to throw and when. I think I might have been throwing the wrong ball because for the amount of times I hit the pocket, I should have struck quite a bit more, I think, compared to some other guys who struck you know, almost every single shot that hit the pocket. But anyway, this is what was going on. My timing was all jacked up, so I was experimenting today without a push away, and it felt okay. Not the best, but it felt okay. And I was bowling with this random, you know, random lefty, Jacob. I don't really know who he is, but you know, probably just some random. And uh, yeah, there's a pretty good shot. Uh, I'll play one of the random lefty. You know, he he was throwing it pretty good today. Whoever that guy is. So he strikes out for 225. I can strike out for 227. Shouldn't really, shouldn't really be a problem. Oh, never mind. Flat 10, nice. I'll just pick up the spare, shoot 200. No big deal. Move on to game two. Never mind. I'll just miss the spare, shoot 190. Move on to game two. It's, it's all right. I just wanted to shoot 420 with Jacob as a team, and that was the goal. It was all part of the plan. You know, big brain stuff right there. So, we move on to game two, and this lane's hooking a lot less. I missed the head pin there. Go to the left lane. I move right off the missed head pin, and I 210. So I'm like, nice. You know, that's awesome. I moved right and still went light. And then this shot, I just, I tug it about an arrow left. Nice. Very nice. Jacob. You know, over there, throwing a strike like normal. Wait, no, wait. oh yeah, throwing a strike. Quietly on the front five, I'm over there with a bunch of spares. No big deal. I'll just throw a good shot here and... Oh, missed the head pin again. I thought that was good. You can tell by my face that I was like, wow. I thought that was a little bit better than that. <laughs> Jacob now on the front eight. Going for front nine. How easy, front nine. He's definitely shooting 300. There's no way he doesn't shoot 300 in this game. He's just locked in. Oh, never mind. Ring seven. He's only shooting 270. <sighs> no big deal. I'm over there with like seven spares. And then. Oh, wait. Nope. Going light again. I've gone light like seven times this game. And then let's go and miss a spare again. No big deal. Quietly shoot 160. Jacob's beat me by 130 after two. No big deal, it's still real close. Real close. So now we're on to game three. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. I made a ball change to my RSTX2. I didn't like how my proton physics was hitting the pins when I hit the pocket, so I don't know if this was the right move. It's sanded to about a thousand right now. It seemed a little bit better to me, but still not that good. And the left lane on this pair was fouling me, fouling me almost every shot. I think it fouled me like four times. Jacob over there quietly with another six bagger. Oh, me with the four pin, nice. Another foul that wasn't a foul. I was like four inches, three or four inches behind the line. You know, that lane just didn't like me. It's like, you suck. You should be getting zero anyway. So here's a foul. Jacob over there throwing strikes like nothing. He's on another eight bagger. And here I am. Not striking like normal. Awesome.
Jacob with a 10 bagger for 289. He just shot 279, 289 the last two games. I'm over there shooting 160 again like a loser. It's all good. It's all good. I'm only down 300 after three games. There's another foul. It's like, man, you suck. You should have got zero. <laughs> Ended up with 176 that game. Game four, we moved to the other side of the house. And I just throw an absolute terrible shot. You know, it went through the face, carried the six somehow. And Jacob's like, yo, that was trash, man. This is a real strike right here. Take notes. And I'm like, all right, I'll take notes. And he's like, back. And I'm like, wow, nice shot, Jake. You know, you're on the front three again. That's cool. Now I'm going to show you a real strike. So I go up there and bowl. And then I go to Brooklyn. And I'm just like, wow. I'm tired of this. I want to go home. <laughs> Jacob over there, going Shrek again. And I'm like, hey, I can do that too. There's a real strike, man. And he's like, alright, here's another one. Bang. And I'm like, alright. I can do it too, man. I can do it too. Never mind. Almost 24810. And I missed the 10 pin after that. Nice. <laughs> Jacob on the front eight, no big deal. And then I have five count. Nice. Jacob on the front nine again. Didn't we just see this like two games ago? He had a 10 bagger last game, the front nine, the game before that. Front nine again for 300. Nope, another seven pin. Sorry, buddy. Oh, wait, a messenger. Oh, nope, no messenger. <laughs> 279 once again. I can strike out for 210. So I, I nut this shot right here. I leave a pocket six pin with a messenger that misses it. How is that even possible? Look at my face. I'm just like, what the heck was that? We gotta see that in slow motion now. A pocket six pin with a freaking messenger coming in front and somehow missing it. The six pin just wobbling back and forth. <sighs> so I shoot 180 instead of 210 because of that pocket six pin. If I carry the 10 pin that I missed, the 6 pin, I shoot like 240 that game. But instead, no, 186. Jacob over there just throwing strikes like nothing. You can't miss unless he shoots a 7 pin in the 10th frame after a 9 bagger. That's about the only time he misses. It's on the front three again. I'm over there with a few spares. I'm just chilling. So this game I move way left because I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of everything. I throw a strike. I'm feeling good. Jacob's just striking like nothing. Oh, bang! Ring 710. That's How's that even a thing, man? That was a ring 10 710. Gotta see it in slow motion. Did I pick it up, though? Nope. It went over there, but didn't hit it. You know, at this point, who even cares about me? Let's just watch Jacob Bull. He's on like 279, 289, 279. He just shot like 840 for the last three. And now he's striking again like nothing. 
And me, I'll just leave another 7 pin. No big deal. You know, I'm tired of this game. This, this is some bullcrap. Jacob finally misses. He three sevens. Jacob went front six again. I'm over there struggling to double. I should have a five bagger, that seven ten and that blower seven, but whatever. Instead, I have no double whatsoever. Jacob over there carrying everything. Me over here. Oh, I carried one. Nice. I got my first double. Oh, I got a three-bagger. Nice. That could be a freaking seven-bagger, but I couldn't carry a 710 and a blower seven, so that's rough. Very rough. Jacob over there throwing pins around. And me, I'll just go to the face again. No big deal. So I shoot 200. That could have easily been a 250. If I had a little better carry, but I didn't, so it was only 200. You know what? Who even cares about me at this point? Let's just watch Jacob Bull. He's he's killing it right now. Throws another seven bagger for 240. I'm over there. I missed a single pin again. I, I forgot what I missed, but I only shot 180. I didn't have a single double. That was awesome. Uh, our game 7 was boring, we both shot 180, so I just kind of skipped it. Uh, this guy on our pair had the front 10 though, so let's watch his 11th shot. Tugged it just a little bit in 4 pins. It's pretty close, it could have carried, I've seen worse shots carry today. So he's got he's gotten lucky off that. In our game 8, my phone actually didn't record it, but luckily I got some footage off Forrest's phone. And I made a ball change, and I threw, I think it was 10 strikes this game for 266. I moved way left, I was three-stepping in front of the ball return, and this is my 11th shot right here. Stone 9, that should have been 270, but instead I only shoot 266 after a ball change. Uh, Jacob only shot 220, so I didn't really show his game. If we had, like, two more games, I think I could have caught Jacob, honestly. I was only down 400 pins from what he shot, but, you know, two more games, I would have been right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I was just throwing the wrong ball the entire time, but game eight was literally the first game I threw the phase four, and I shot 266. So, I don't know. I went minus 40, and I finished, I think, 40th for the tournament, and cut was plus 60, so I missed it by 100. But literally, if I just carry the 710, the blower 7, like two more 10 pins, I'm right there. I'm plus, I'm plus 60 right there. So, I don't know. I, I think I was close. You know, just some bad breaks, bad carry, a couple miss spares. That's the difference from me making cut and making money and the difference from me finishing minus 40 and missing cut. So, I don't know. On to the next one, I guess. Uh, Jacob went on to make match play, he made the finals, and he lost to Cortez Shank, who shot 140 the first game, and then came back with 250-260. Uh, Cortez went on to win the tournament, so congrats to Cortez. Uh, Jacob, thanks for making me look terrible this weekend. You know, I felt terrible. You're over there, sh you're struggling to not strike, and I was struggling to throw a strike until I was throwing the Phase 4 Game 8, so I don't know. <laughs> we got another regional coming up. Next month, I believe, in Modesto. And yeah, until then, I gotta practice. I gotta practice a lot. I don't really like how my swing's feeling right now. I don't really like a lot of things about my game, but. Oh well, we're gonna go practice. Hopefully, we're gonna kill it. I'll see you guys in Modesto.